Hi everybody. I wanted to share something that I received over the weekend and um, it, and it'll probably be encouraging to you. Uh, I was I think kind of sleeping, kind of awake, but I I heard the Holy Spirit begin to impart to me um, that we are in the three days. And I was like, and then I felt like it was just kind of like the whole revelation was poured in all at once. And I felt like the Holy Spirit was saying, reminding me of where Solomon said, uh, you know, not th that whatever has been done will be done again. Whatever has been will be again. There is nothing new under the sun from Ecclesiastes. And he reminded me of the story of Joseph, which is actually a picture of Christ, where he was rejected by his brother, sold into slavery. Um, and then he went into uh, prison and then came out of prison and was elevated to the prince of Egypt. And then uh, I felt like the Lord was comparing that, the Holy Spirit was comparing that to uh, where Jesus was was uh, crucified and he was buried for the three days and then when he rose from the dead he came up um, and was seated at the right hand of the father and I felt like the Lord was saying that that parallel that um, you know that that event that happened with Joseph that happened with Jesus that it, it's the next thing to happen like we are in that three day time period um, where the, the church is awaiting to be uh, brought up that the next thing will be the the resurrection of the righteous dead and the rapture of the body of Christ and um, it's just like prophecy you know repeats itself over and over and so um, I just thought that was kind of neat you know that we are still in uh, that we are in that time right before uh, we get raised up that the Lord was saying you know that's how close we really are Anyway, I hope that encourages you and that, you know, you'll continue um, just to, to watch for the Lord and, and just stay hidden in him and, and stay in that secret place, you know, where you can just grow in intimacy with him and in love with him. And I just pray that we will all continue to keep our lights burning bright while we wait for Jesus. God bless. Okay, I heard.